everybody! Today's video is the 7 Deadly Sins of Beauty tag. I decided to do this just because it seemed like a good idea. It seemed like it was a fun little tag to do. I'm sure you can't see my eyes due to the reflection on my glasses from my computer. I have all the questions in front of me right now, so I apologize for that. Question number one. Greed. What is the most inexpensive beauty item and what is the most expensive beauty item? My least expensive is really hard to pick because I have so many e.l.f. products that are like a dollar. I also have clean color lipsticks that are a dollar. I have some Jordana stuff that was a dollar. So it's kind of hard to pick which one to show. I have a bunch of the clean colors lipsticks. I have a Jordana one right here. I have e.l.f. products just kind of strewn about. And I have a lot of them. So I'd say a dollar. The most expensive beauty product is either a foundation or my Naked 3 palette. They're both in like the 50, 40 to 50 dollar range. This is I believe 53 after tax or so. But I do really want the Makeup Forever Flash palette because I mean it's a hundred dollars but I, it, I need it. I just need it. Number two, Wrath. What beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? What products are the hardest to get? Now, I have a love-hate relationship with the Carez Greek Yogurt Foundation Primer. I wore it last summer and my skin got really, really oily. And then this past winter I used it and my skin was still really, really dry. So, I don't know. I don't feel like it agrees with my skin as much because, I mean, it, when I was oily it made me even more oily and then when I was dry it didn't really help. Also the smell, the smell of it is really strong and it lingers like all day even under your foundation you can still smell it. But I mean it doesn't bother me so much but I, I, when I wear it I could get like the smell throughout the day and I'm like yep it's still, it's still there. And the product that's hardest for me to get, it was the hardest for me to get out of probably everything I own, was the Rimmel Kate lipstick in number 111. I went to Target, Walmart, Walgreens. I think I finally ended up getting it at CVS. But every single place was out of the 111. They had like the 109, the 104, the 103, and I just couldn't find the 111. And I finally found it, and it was the last one. And luckily it wasn't messed up because I needed it. Number three, Gluttony. What are your most delicious beauty products? Mine are probably... The Guerlain, I can't pronounce it, so you'll just have to read it. I'll also put the name down in the description just because I can't. I know it's Mandarin, but is it Basilic? Basilic? Basilisk? Harry Potter? I don't know. But it smells so amazing. Oh my gosh. It's like the most comforting smell ever. I love citrus smells, and it's just a really fresh, clean kind of citrus smell doesn't taste good though, I just breathed it in. And another one that I think smells really good is the um, Benefit Rocketeur blush. I don't know what it smells like exactly, but every time I open it I smell it because it it just smells really good. Four, Sloth. What beauty products do you neglect due to laziness? Most of the time, things to do with my eyebrows because I'm lazy. Half the time I won't wear liquid eyeliner because I don't want to bother. Can't be bothered with it. Other times that's the only thing I will do is just liquid liner, mascara, lip stuff. Done. Also, so it's mostly like eyebrows and fake eyelashes. I can't wear fake eyelashes anyway because I have glasses and they'll like touch the lens and... Five. Pride. What beauty products give you the most self-confidence? All of the mascara <laughs> in the world. I love it. I feel like if you... Just do mascara and like a bold lip, you can pretty much pull off anything. On like lazy days, I'll do like a CC cream or just a light coverage foundation and then red lip, mascara, out the door. Done. And it's pretty and it's simple and it just makes me feel good. That's another thing. Red lipstick, confidence booster. Six. Lust. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? I have no idea what this has to do with beauty stuff. Beautiful people? Sure, why not? They specified opposite sex too. So, I like beards, nice teeth, generally somebody who works with their hands. I don't know, we had this question in the um, one of the tags my sister and I did. 
and I had a hard time answering then too. Generally depends on the person. Number seven, Envy. What items would you most like to receive as a gift? The Makeup Forever Flash Palette, if anybody loves me. The Makeup Forever brushes, because they are so soft but they are so expensive. Or the Real Techniques brushes. I think you can get like a full set of them for less than $50 and I've heard such good things about them and I really 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 want them. If anyone wants to buy me a face painting palette because I need one of those. There, are, You could pretty much buy me any makeup stuff and I would be pretty excited simply because I like having new things to play with and when I moved I ended up giving away like 10 pounds of makeup. I literally weighed it. I had 13 pounds of makeup before I left. I kept three and left 10 pounds of makeup between two of my sisters, my mom, and the theater company that I usually work at. I left so much stuff behind, so I'm really down to like, I'm not down to basics, but <laughs> for me it's basics. I can fit it all in like a makeup travel bag and that's like bare minimum for me. I know having like 15 or I have more than 15, like 25 lipsticks for somebody is like way too many, but that's like my base. But yeah, I mean, I feel like I have a lot of makeup that I really don't need, obviously, but I feel like I need it and I collect it. So I mean, pretty much anything will do, even dollar store stuff. Well, that concludes the seven deadly sins of beauty tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like down below, thumbs up the video. Comment down below if you have any questions or would like to answer the questions yourself. I'd love to hear from you and subscribe if you feel so inclined to do so. Have a great day. Bye.